61A lecture number 11, announcements. Homework three is due on Wednesday, which is today. The MAPS project is posted, it's due next Thursday. And remember that projects are a major component of this course, so give yourself plenty of time. This project is not as large as the first one. Well, maybe it's about as large, but you have more practice now. But it's one of the smaller projects in the course. Project three coming up is quite a bit larger. Um, students interrupted by the fire alarm during the midterm do need to take a makeup exam. I've linked here to the Piazza post where I answered some questions that I thought you might have. You can also look over the original midterm one page, which tells you exactly what's on the exam, uh, gives you links to study guides, past exams, etc. Homework four is just posted. It's due next Monday. Uh, it goes through a classic set of problems that many students have solved before about data abstraction, as well as one recursive function about lists. Now, because students taking the makeup exam have a lot on their plate, I'm not going to make them do this homework. Instead, they'll automatically receive full credit. I hope everybody else receives full credit, too, by working on the homework. Remember that homework is graded on effort. Even if you don't solve all the problems, you can get full credit. Just go ahead and submit what you have, but do give yourself enough time to make some progress on all of the problems. Likewise, this week we had a lab that um, was longer than expected. So for that lab, you don't need to finish at all. You get credit just for submitting something. Um, this semester we've been trying really hard to make sure that the labs are interesting, like you build something that you might care about. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed that so far. Uh, as a consequence, we're building a lot of new labs that have never been used before, and for that reason, sometimes they'll be too long or too short. Please bear with us as we invent new material. We're trying to pick things that are more interesting than what was there before. Um, the last announcement is that you can revise your hog project whenever you feel like it. In order to improve its composition, you just have to address the suggestions that were made to you, um, and then resubmit and uh, everyone who addresses the suggestions that were there will then receive full credit for composition on the project, two out of two points. Composition is there to make sure you pay attention to it, but it's not there to determine how well you do in the class as a whole. So I expect everybody will get two out of two points if they just take the time to make those revisions. Now, for students who are not taking an exam on Friday because you already took the exam, there will be no lecture on Friday. Uh, there will be no videos for lectures on Friday either. Instead, we'll pick up uh, on the material starting next Monday. This doesn't put us behind, really. Uh, there's a little bit of flexibility in the schedule, so all the assignments will still be due when they've been posted according to the schedule that's been online the whole time, this one here. Okay, see you soon.